Aloha, 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 and good morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome to Every Day is a Great Day to Pray. I am your host, <laughs> Mary Elo. Uh, welcome, welcome, and welcome, welcome. Y'all come on in as we prepare to pray, to learn, to glean from the word of God. I have a word for you today. Um, and I'm just excited. I am excited because why? Every day is a great day to pray. And, <laughs> and I want you, each of you to know that prayer not only changes things, but it changes the hearts and the minds of people. Praise God. I'm so excited. So y'all come on in. Come on in. Let me know where you're coming from. Good morning, Patricia. Good morning. Blessings to you all the way from Los Angeles. Come on in. I give God glory, honor, and praise uh, for allowing each of you to come in this morning. Make sure you go ahead and share the broadcast. Share it uh, on your pages. Tag some people. Tag some people that you know that will be blessed by the word of God for on this morning. Um, yeah, go ahead and tag some people. Come on in. As we get ready to go before God, good morning and aloha to uh, to my friend KP. Come on in. Aloha, Kismet. Come on in, y'all. Uh, yeah, you made it in. Go ahead and like and share. Tag people. Because today I have a word from the Lord that will bless you and bless someone else. Because how many of you really know that God does nothing in the earth except an answer to believe in prayer? God does nothing in the earth except an answer to believe in prayer. So your prayer is powerful. Someone put that in the chat. My prayer is powerful. My prayer is powerful. If I'm believing, my prayer is powerful. When I pray, things happen. Y'all better go ahead because I'm getting excited already. When I pray, things happen happen. So uh, many times uh, as believers, um, when we pray, we pray from a stance of mm, maybe, mm, maybe not. But how many of you know, come on, hey, Diana, come on in. How many of you know that when you pray from a place of faith, right, believing and trusting in God's word, things begin to shift, things Thank you. Things begin to happen. Things begin to move because you're moving and walking in the authority of God. Guess what? When I pray, I believe that God is going to move on my behalf. So uh, people will come to a, a, a when I, I grew up in the South. OK, and I'm just going to be real. People will come to church for what they, we used to call them sayings. <laughs> Sangings where the quartets would come and the choirs would come and the church would be packed out, right? They'll come to church on Sunday, church packed out. But how many of you know that you say, I'm going to have a prayer meeting? Crickets. <laughs> because people do not really understand the power of prayer, the power of prayer. Many people don't understand their power and their authority in believing what God says. We're going to go to uh, very quickly to a scripture. And I know that Diana knows this scripture uh, because of the 90 day prophetic tree challenge. Many of you know, uh, today is my friend. And, and I had no idea, right, when God gave me this um, this morning. Yeah, he was like, I, I need my people to understand that when they pray and believe I move on their behalf. When they pray the word, I move on their behalf. I had no idea that today was my friend Shamel Solomon. I'm shouting her out. Happy birthday. I'm shouting her out. But when she would do the 90 day prophetic tree challenge, this was her scripture, Mark chapter 11, uh, verse 24. And I'm going to read it in the NSV, in the ESV, excuse me. Uh, I, I, I'm just excited because I know that God answers prayer. How many of you know God answers prayer? Put that in the chat. God answers prayer. If you believe that God answers prayer, you don't mind telling people, hey, let's pray. Let's fast. Let's seek the face of God. Let's go before the throne. Not only do we want to pray, but we want to put some word on it because what? His word is powerful. So again, I'm going to go to Mark. I'm going to give you guys a minute to go to Mark chapter um, 11, verse 24. And I'm pulling it up on, in the ESV. Hallelujah. 
Ooh, God is good. God is good. God is good. He's amazing. He is amazing. And I'm excited today. It says, therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received and it will be yours. Right? Believe. Come on. Believe. And receive and it will be yours. So people will be like, well, uh, God didn't answer my prayer. Their stipulation, believe and receive, and it will be yours. Hmm. Believe and receive. But first you got to what? Ask. Come on. Come on. Ask. I'm th I, Right now, I'm thinking about the widow <laughs> that was uh, uh, the persistent widow. How many of you are persistent in prayer? There are those. Good morning, Della. There are those that believe. Uh, you know, and I'm not I'm not trying to knock anybody, but there are those that believe that uh, I don't have to keep asking God for the same thing. This is this is my take on that. Did the prayer get answered? Did you get it? Did you get any? Did you get any movement? Did you see anything happen? Listen, listen, John Wesley. God does nothing except in answer to believing prayer. God does nothing. If you don't know who John Wesley is, he was the leader uh, 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 of the Methodist movement. He was uh, he was an English preacher, a preacher from Great Britain, right? And he started the Methodist movement. And this man prayed. This man fasted. He was thrown out of churches because once he realized the power of prayer, and once he realized uh, that 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 the heart of God was for his people and he began to preach in these various churches in Great Britain and they threw him out. Do you not understand that they threw him out in so many churches that the man had to go and preach in open fields. He preached in open fields and 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 those who 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 were downtrodden, those who, who, who were thrown away were the ones who came to listen to him. Many times when we, when God gives us something to do, and I don't know where this is going, where this is going, but this is the Holy Spirit just leave me there. When God gives us something to do, you're going to get some, some backlash from people. People not going to believe what you're talking about. People going to throw you out. They're going to, they, they're going to, they're going to call you all, all kind of things, but a child of God. But when I tell you, that when you stand on the word of God and you believe in prayer, God has told you to pray for a specific situation. God has told you to pray for a specific circumstance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are believing. We are believing and we are trusting what, what God says. Come on, y'all. Share the broadcast. If you are on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you are a replay follower, share this broadcast. We want this to go out because people are neglecting one of the main tools that they have in their arsenal because they don't see movement. They don't see their answer being fulfilled. <laughs> Glory to God. They're giving up. They're throwing in the towel. They're saying, oh, well, I pray for six months. Well, I pray for a year. How many of you know the promises of God are yes and amen? God is looking for persistence. God is looking for consistency. The, 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 the widow, the persistent widow, she did not give up. She did not quit. She just kept on pushing. Listen, she bugged that judge so much. He's like, listen, if I don't answer this woman, she's going to torment me. If I don't give this woman what she wants, she gonna get on my, she already getting on my last nerve. Every single day she's at my door. Get justice for me. Get justice for Get justice for me. Every single day she's at his door. She's knocking. She's knocking. She's knocking. How many of you are like that in prayer? I don't see my answer. I'm gonna keep knocking. I don't see my answer. I'm gonna keep pushing. I don't see my answer, but I'm gonna be persistent. Oh, wait a minute. Let me ask some more scriptures. Let me ask some more scriptures. But God sees your persistence. He sees your consistency. He sees it. He sees your faithfulness. And he's moving behind the scenes. Glory to God. Many of you on here have problems that are so big that you're like, there's no way I can do this in my own strength. And God is saying to you today, I don't want you to. I want you to bring it to me. 
I want you to bring it to me. Stop putting your hands on it. Stop trying to fix it. Bring it to me. Bring it to me in prayer. Bring it to me in prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Bring it to me in prayer. So many are giving up. So many are throwing in the towel. But God is saying, bring it to me in prayer. I see it getting worse. You know what? Let me tell you something. How many of you? <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you have a fire, good morning, Nicole. When you have a fire, right? And the fire is really low, right? The fire is really low. You start poking that fire. You start turning those coals over. What happened to that fire? It gets bigger, right? Well, when you start praying and fasting, reading your word in reference to your situation, circumstance, what happens? The enemy, wait a minute, she, she, she's stirring up stuff. Let me turn up the heat a little bit. Let me turn up the heat a little bit. That don't mean you quit praying. That don't mean you can't quit. You stop doing what you're doing. You turn up the heat. You turn up the heat, hallelujah. You turn it, oh, oh, he gonna, he gonna act a fool? Let me add another day of fasting. Let He gonna act a fool? Let me add some more scriptures to my prayer. Oh, you wanna turn up the heat and try to try to discourage me? Let me add some more uh, 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 time of prayer. Let me add some worship. Let me add some, um, 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 some flagging. Let me go and dance before the Lord. Let me go and do, let me get up and praise God a little bit more. Why? Because I know that when I turn up the heat and you turn up the heat, I know that my prayers are what? Working. You don't mess with him. He going to lay low, right? That fire going to lay low, right? But when you start poking that fire, when you and you put some more uh put some more logs on the fire, that fire gets hotter. The enemy don't like it when we pray. That's why he shuts our mouths and he causes distractions and discouragement to come. He doesn't like it when you read your word. He doesn't like it when you shift your atmosphere with, with fasting and, and the things of God. He doesn't like it when you play uh, worship music in your house. He can't stand worship because that's what his that's what his, his assignment was in heaven. He was the worshiper. He was the lead worshiper. But while he was up there, he began to get pride and arrogant. And he thought he could make himself like God. So when we worship our true and living God, we have replaced. We've taken his place. We're telling him, mm, I don't care what you do to me. I don't care what you do in this situation. I'm going to worship. I'm going to pray. I'm going to I'm going to seek the face of God. And I know that God is going to answer me. And when you do that, you're adding not only you're building up your spiritual muscles, you're building up your faith, you're building up your strength. show. You see all these people that 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 pray a uh, uh, long periods of time that that get prayers answered quickly. Why? Because they have been in a place of prayer and they know that the power of praying and seeking and interceding on behalf of others, they know that there's power in prayer. They believe and they trust God. They trust God enough to know, I see what's going on, but I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. Yes, it's discouraging sometimes. Yes, you get weary sometimes. Sometimes you just have to say, Lord, I can't say another word. Can I just lay here in your presence? That's all right. You lay in there. You're right there. You're right there. You're right there. You haven't give up. You haven't quit. You haven't thrown in the towel. Hayebo shoto rabakai. Bless God. Ooh, I feel the presence of the Most High God right now. How many of you feel the presence? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's saying, stir up the fire of prayer. Come on. Stir up the fire of prayer. Stir it up. Hallelujah. If you if you put down praying, if you put down praying because you're discouraged by what you see in the natural, if you don't know by now, I've been posting uh, pictures of my tennis shoes because I've been walking and, and I've been flagging. I've been doing different things to get my body in alignment with the true and living God. I've called God woke me up the other night. He said, Mary, faith walking. Huh. You've been doing it in your own strength. I want you to, to, to walk by faith. And that's what God is telling us today. Walk by faith. Pray in faith. 
Faith is believing, trusting, knowing that God has going to do exactly what he says. Come on, God is going to do exactly what he says. It may not happen today. It may not happen tomorrow, but believe me, it will happen. Why? Because God does nothing except an answer to believe in prayer. You're sitting there waiting on God and God is waiting on you. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Don't allow the discouragement. Don't allow what you see in the natural to discourage you from praying and seeking the face of God. Don't allow what you see in the natural to stop you from moving forward in prayer. Pray until you see something happen. Everybody wants to use their acronym PUSH. They want to say PUSH, but some of you have stopped pushing because you don't see anything happen. Many of us have stopped praying because we don't see movement. But God is saying, push, push until it bursts out. Come on, Jesus. Woo. Glory to God. So Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you right now for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. I thank you for everyone that's watching on this live and those that will watch the replay. I pray right now that as they go before the throne of grace and repent, Father, we repent for prayerlessness. We repent for not coming before you, Lord God, with hearts, Lord God, that are open, with hearts that are open. Lord God, you have told us to intercede on behalf of loved ones. You have told us to intercede on behalf of our city. You have called and beckoned us to intercede on behalf of nations. But because we don't see movement, we've stopped. Mm, shit it about stop, stop. God is reminding me that David wrote the Psalms. He wrote the majority of the Psalms. And the majority of the Psalms are prayers. Hallelujah. If you look at the Psalms, they are prayers. He's in a terrible fix. He's in a, he's in a situation that does not look good. He's in a situation that does not look like anything is going to change. He goes before God and then laments. He's like, God, my enemies are all around me. God, my enemies are surrounding me. But your mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. Your mercy endures forever. I'm not going to stop. I may get discouraged. I may, I may, I may, I may forget. I may, I may forget about what you've done in the past. Some of you need to go back and look at your journals. A friend of mine posted her journals in one of the groups. She's got over 72 journals. That's over 72 uh, different things that God has done. 72, over 72 chronicles, over 17 books, 72 books filled with her journey with the Lord. Some of you need to get out your journals, get out your prayer uh, journals, get out a uh, pen and paper and begin to write out your prayers. Begin to write out your prayers. Hallelujah. God, we repent for prayerlessness. My other friend, Jasmine, I, I'm calling her name out because I know she's going to watch this. She wrote that we are, there are people that are being prayerless. I didn't even think about it. But then this morning, God reiterated this, the prayerlessness of his people. Lord, we repent for prayerlessness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We repent, Lord God, for not staying on the wall. We repent for giving up on our assignments. Hallelujah. We repent for inconsistency, Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And we ask, Father God, that you would align us up with you. Align us up with you, Lord God. Align us up with your word. Align us, oh God. Allow us, Lord God, to come before your throne. Lord God, and just lay there. You speak to our hearts. You said that you don't want any to perish, but all to come to repentance. Father, forgive us. We repent, Lord God. And we ask, Lord God, that you take us in. That you take us in, Lord God. Fill us again with strength, with your power, Lord God. More, Lord, more power, more power, more authority, Father. Let your Holy Spirit baptize us afresh. Let your Holy Spirit baptize us afresh, God. We want to be made new. We want to be made over in you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Fill us again, God. 
Fill us again. 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 More fire, Lord. More fire. Fresh fire. Yes. Fresh oil. Hallelujah. Fill us again, God. We need a refilling. Shanda Yabo Sotorabakai. We need a refilling. Hallelujah. So, God, as you do the new thing in us, Lord God, we ask right now, Lord God, that you baptize us again in your blood. Hallelujah. Creating us a clean heart and renewing right spirit within us. Do not cast us away from your presence. Lord, don't take your Holy Spirit from us. Lord, do it again. Lord, do it again. Lord, do it again. Lord, do it again. More of you, Lord Jesus. More of you, Lord Jesus. Less of us and more of you, Father. I feel the presence of God. Hallelujah. I feel the wind of God. Hallelujah. He's stirring up. He's stirring us up. He's stirring us up. More fire. Fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are going to be like the persistent widow in your prayers? You're not going to stop. You're going to be persistent. Hallelujah. You're going to be persistent. You're going to be persistent. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Write in the chat. I will be persistent. I will be persistent. Come on, write it in the chat. I will be persistent. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I will be persistent. Hallelujah. I will keep saying it. I will be. I, how about this? I am persistent. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I am persistent. I am persistent in my fasting. I'm persistent in my worship. I'm persistent in my prayer. I'm persistent. I will not stop. I will not quit until I see an answer to my prayer. I am persistent. I am persistent. I am persistent. Come on. I am persistent. I will be, I will have bulldog faith. Come on. I mean, you know, when a bulldog gets something in his mouth, that joker won't let it go. He get a bone in his mouth. He won't let it go. Hallelujah. Be like Jacob that wrestles with the angel. I will not let you go until you bless me. I am persistent. Bless you, Prophet Sharon. I am persistent. Y'all share this broadcast because there's so many that have quit that says, you know what? It's th this is too hard. I can't do this. I can't do this anymore. I've been praying for five years. I've been praying for 10 years. I've been praying for 20. I've been praying for two years and I don't see an answer to my prayer. But have you looked to see what God is doing? God is doing other things. Y'all better look at the small things. Look at the small, look at what God is doing. Have you got a promotion on your job? Did you get an increase in finances? Did you see things breaking off your children? You may be praying for your spouse and, 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 and God is working on your children. Hallelujah. God will do exactly what he says. His word is his will. Come on. His word is his will. Pray his word. Hallelujah. Pray his word. Lord, I don't know what else to say. Pray his word. I, I, I pray so long, I can't think of nothing else. Pray his word. Hallelujah. For his word is his will. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I want to give each and every one of you, I want to admonish you to be persistent. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't throw in the towel. God wants each of you to know that you matter. You matter to him. Your prayers matter to him. Your loved ones matter to him. Your community matters to him. If he has assigned you to pray for your schools, if he's assigned you to pray uh, for your nation, whatever your assignment, be persistent. Be persistent and consistent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to remind you. I want to remind you what John Wesley said. God does nothing 
accept and answer to believe in prayer. So you're waiting on God and God is waiting on you. Come on. You're waiting on God and God is waiting on you. God is waiting on you, my brother, my sister. Make sure you share this out. Thank you, each of you, for coming on. Hallelujah. Let me see. If God wants me to speak into someone's life today. Hallelujah. 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 Kismet Lopez, you are a warrior in the spirit. You see yourself as small, but God sees you as mighty. Put your war clothes on every day. Put your get out of bed, put your war clothes on because you are a terror to the enemy in the spirit. I see you crying and feeling as though you don't matter. This message is specifically for you. I see you crying and feeling as though you don't matter. You're feeling as though what you say don't matter. God is saying to you today, you are a warrior in the spirit and the enemy is afraid of your mouth. He's putting, trying to, oh, shut up. I see. He's trying to shut you down. Mm. He's trying to shut you down. I see a hand over your mouth and he's trying to shut you down. Hallelujah. I literally see a hand over your mouth and if anyone wants to shut you down, but God says not so. You are a warrior in the spirit. And when you open your mouth, you are like a lion. You are a lioness in the spirit. You Mm, I see you even in a, a oh shut that I both saw. When you recognize and realize what you carry, I see you pouncing on the enemy. Shanda Yedaboko. God will give you strategies how to pounce on the enemy. Kismet, do you hear me? God will give you strategies how to pounce on the enemy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo! Ha. Glory to God. I want you guys to know that I love you all. Blessings to you, everyone that has uh, come on, jumped on. Blessings um, to my friends. Um, I just want uh, to share just one quick announcement with you. You see me posting about faith walk, walking. You see me posting about faith walking. So I'm walking by faith. God is doing something with this. So uh, if you see me with a post and you see my sneakers, if you've taken a walk today, if you've exercised, if, you, if you've if uh, you uh, put your body in alignment with, with how God is telling you to put your body in alignment, take a faith walk with me. <laughs> post your tennis shoes or post uh, your, your walk with me. I'm going to po post it later today. Um, I was preparing this morning, so I'm gonna be walking later this afternoon. But I'm gonna be. I want to. I want you guys to walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Yes, walk with me. Take a faith walk. Um, God said he we, he wants me to walk by faith and not by sight. I see the weight, but God said no. The weight is just a weight. It, the weight. <laughs> the weight is trying to cause you to wait. But I want you to keep moving. Keep moving. Keep pressing. Keep pressing. Good morning, Danita. I, I, I love all of my friends, hallelujah, that are on here. Please share, like and share the video Um, because I'm, I'm getting ready to get off now. Uh, I, I want uh, this prayer to be sealed with the blood of Jesus. No backlash, no retaliation. Um, let the joy of the Lord uh, uh, just be your strength today and be persistent and consistent in prayer. Aloha. And I love each and every one of you. Watch the replay, guys. Blessings. Bye-bye.